about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi, I'm Danielle Delgado. Hi, I'm Rudy Martinez, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. You are on Netflix's um, Dear White People. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the show and your character on the show. Well, I play Wesley Alvarez, and um, Wesley comes in season two, and he's a student at Winchester University, which is the university on the show. And um, he meets Lionel, uh, mm -hmm. who's played by John Horton, uh, at a party for Pride. It's like a Pride party mm -hmm. at school. And Lionel is, you know, he's kind of a wallflower. So he goes to these Pride events, and his episode is all about him just trying to fit in. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of the episode, he meets my character, who turns out is also kind of a little bit of a loner. And uh, they hit it off. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how my character is introduced. Mm -hmm. uh, and throughout the season, there's a little bit of, well, that kind of develops. Yeah, I read somebody has a love interest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm excited because season two just premiered, right? Yeah, it just premiered last Friday. Oh, exciting. So it's all, all of it available to binge. Well, aside from this, sh this show, you also reoccur on Jane the Virgin. So tell me how it's like on set working with like Gina Rodriguez. Oh, everyone is so nice in yeah. that show. Um, I mostly work with Jaime, who uh, plays um, Gina's dad on the show, mm -hmm. and occasionally I do get to work with Gina, and, and whenever that happens, it's like, she's just so nice, mm -hmm. and, um, and I just love watching her work. She's just so professional, she knows what she's doing, and um, she's got so much energy and enthusiasm mm -hmm. for what she does. It's really inspiring. So tell me what else you have coming up. Well, right now I'm in a play mm -hmm. at the Gary Marshall Theater. It's called Woodboy Dogfish. It's a modern retelling of Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. It's very grown up. It's not the Disney version. Uh -huh. um, and I play the Pinocchio character, but um, I use a puppet on stage. So I'm like dancing and singing, but it's all through a puppet. And I, look, mm -hmm. I manipulate a, a little kind of like child-sized puppet. Yeah. So. Um, I mean, I'm performing it, so I don't get to watch it. But yeah. what I hear, it's like it's very good. trippy to see like a little puppet walking around the stage. Oh wow! Yeah. And when is that? Um, in? That starts May 18th, mm -hmm. and it goes through June 24th. Fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah. I want to go watch. Yeah. <laughs> we have to talk about how you got into the industry because I think it's a little interesting. I mean, you've kind of always been into it since you were yeah. little, but um, I heard that you you went to school for yeah. you know acting. And then you got a grant or a scholarship, mm -hmm. and you did some research, and your research turned into a play that yeah. you wrote and directed, and it was like all about puppetry, which I think is really interesting. So you have to explain this a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, uh, I always knew that I was interested in physical theater and like hyper theater, um, and I knew that I wanted to study pup puppetry mm -hmm. because I'd always been really into like Muppets and stuff. So I didn't know where to go in college to like find out about that. So mm -hmm. I got um, a, a grant to study yeah. to study it on my own. So it was like kind of self-taught. And I, I remember I went to San Francisco to look at various theater companies up there that do physical work mm -hmm. and puppetry. And that's what inspired me to write my own show. And um, I remember it was like graduation week of of senior year of college mm -hmm. and that's when I found my show and I was also graduating so it was big time for me but um, that's what started me mm -hmm. um, that's what started my interest yeah. in puppetry yeah. yeah well in acting too because after you graduated you just kind of like hit the ground running with acting right yeah I did I um I actually got my first agent when I was in, in college mm -hmm. and I remember I would occasionally get an audition and didn't want to miss out on the opportunity so mm -hmm. I Sneak off, drive down to LA. I, I went to school in Santa Barbara, so I drive two hours oh. down to LA and go to auditions. Um, so I mean, don't tell anybody. Okay. No, nobody's nobody's that. watching it anyway. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, um, yeah, it just kind of all happened at once. You yeah. know, um, uh, when, once I graduated, I, I did really just kind of hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. I was very eager to do as much as I could. Yeah, it's so interesting. I love the whole puppet thing. I was like, let me get this story right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. And then you and your husband have, what, a scholarship at yeah. UCLA? Mm -hmm. 
for the film department. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, well, he graduated from UCLA, um, uh, the producer's program at UCLA. Mm -hmm. He got his MFA there. And one thing that he, you know, he tried to do while he was there was put out material and write and direct material mm -hmm. that um, depicted LGBTQ issues. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to provide a space for other people to do that and be recognized. Yeah. So after he graduated together, he and I established a scholarship there mm -hmm. to give those opportunities to other people. Yeah. So it's kind of fun because every year we get to read plays and movie scripts and, mm -hmm. and you know watch performances of people who are portraying um, LGBTQ issues. Mm -hmm. And it's just really fun to get to read them all. That's so cool. I love that you guys do that. That's so yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's important to us. I love that you give back, you and your husband, but what do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Oh gosh, I want my fans to remember me by, you know, I think one thing that I try to do is pick projects that um, give people a voice. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I'm playing a Latino character who's gay um, on a show called Dear White People. <laughs> um, but it, it means a lot to me because, yeah. you know, I, I want to boost the voices of people mm -hmm. who might not otherwise get the opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Justin Simeon, the director of Dear White People, uh, saw that there was there were gaps in mm -hmm. entertainment of where he, he wanted to lend his voice. So, you know, projects that are socially conscient, conscious are, are important to me. Mm -hmm. so, I'd like to be remembered by that. Right, well, thank you so much for being here with me, and thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.